Yesterday there was actually a lot of cooking going on. Uh, uh, just part of it. There were four of the round cakes, two of the small cakes. There were cookies, but none of it got on camera. Uh, today I'm actually uh, on the PDF from the University of Alaska Fairbanks uh, sourdough. Uh, I'm going to make some pancakes, sourdough pancakes. I need to get a few more. I think I need a few more things. This uh, recipe, all it has in it is the sponge, a little bit of uh, salt, sugar, and an egg. I'm doubling it. And then it uses... Uh, a teaspoon of soda in a tablespoon of water to react with the lactic acid that's in the sourdough. Uh, I'm just going to measure the sourdough, mix it in with the egg and the sugar and the salt, and go from there. Uh, I need something else. This isn't enough. Okay, there's one cup of the starter, or roughly. This is a dry measure, but... I don't know if the starter's wet or dry, but... No matter the case, we'll probably get enough in here. Two. I've already beat this like it says. Uh, this is a PDF you can download it. Uh, you look it up University of Alaska Fairbanks sourdough starter or just sourdough and it brings this up and it talks about the history of it and it's kind of a neat collection of recipes this uh, calls for equal parts water and flour there's three cups so this is like hundred and sixty six percent hydration sourdough that they make which is fine that's what I'm using uh, but just need to get this mixed up and then heat a pan and uh, start making some hot cakes. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put all this sponge in because uh, there's not much left in here and I was a little short on that. So I think I'm just going to use a uh, rubber scraper and get it all out and just use it all. I do have some put away already so I'm not worried about using up the sponge. They say if you're doing this to save a half cup in the fridge for the next time and just bring it out and add feed it six to eight hours before. Really neat uh, website by the way. Uh, it tells you how to make a start and storing it and everything. But like I said, they say to only you only need to store a half cup and then just feed it a couple cups of water and flour uh, after it's you've got it uh, to make more. Once you have the active start, you only need to save a half cup, which is logical. Okay, there's the fella making noise. I'm going to rinse this and mix this up. Oh, I've got to do the the soda and water. This will just react with the lactic acid in the uh, sourdough. And that will be add to the leavening. I thought there was actually some flour in this and it kind of amazed me that there wasn't, but there is a lot of flour in the starter, so that's a lot of pancakes, but I just wanted to use up that starter. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to heat up a griddle now and start making them. First, before you... Well, we started doing this. This is, It says that you can add flour and water as needed for thickness. I didn't. I just 
did the basic ingredients. And they're doing, and they're not too bad, they're thin, uh, but uh, these are a little pale, but they're uh, going to have to try them. They might actually taste good, uh, but that's the first batch so far, the trial run. Okay, I've put about a quarter cup of flour in here. Just try to thicken this up a little bit. Uh, because the only flour that was in it was the sourdough starter itself. Yeah, these are just tiny. But, yeah, um, that's okay. They're done. Yeah, they're done. Let's see. Now I'm going to have to try one. Yeah, the broken one. <laughs> That's, That's what okay. I'm going to try. That's okay. Hmm. Okay, we've got this flour added. Let's get the ladle back over here and see how that works. Mm. Oh, sorry. Hmm. Tastes like a sourdough pancake. Oh, good. so it tastes like what it's supposed to. Uh huh. It tastes good. It's still uh, pretty thin, but more yeah. of a crepe than a pancake. Uh, I guess I could add more flour, but I don't want it to have a ton. I guess it wouldn't matter. It's the consistency of a crepe, but not more of a crepe because crepes have but, several eggs. Okay, I like she said. Uh, the consistency, and I may add some more flour. We can cook these up, no big deal. They taste good. Yeah, I gotta put some peanut butter on one and try it. Well, I put some peanut butter on the broken one. That's my way to try one. So tastes all, good. All popped, yeah. It's yummy. They're a little thin, more like a crepe. Uh, not the amount of eggs, but definitely, uh, Thinner. I may add some more flour just to try it. It tastes good. But the flavor is really good, so we're we did we did all right on that aspect of it. I added some more flour between the last batch and this one, and they're definitely fuller pancakes. Uh, gonna have to try one to see if it's got enough salt because adding the flour sometimes it, you need to add a little salt to balance so it doesn't taste like flour. But we'll have to wait till they're cooked. They're uh, this too. light, actually, this camera, they're much darker than what they appear, at least on the screen on the camera, and usually what they look like on my computer. But that's more the natural color. Uh, but they're looking great, and they're tasting great. And we're getting back to cooking them. There is still a lot of batter to do yes i know it's in sourdough it's in metal but it's stainless steel so we're good on that well the glass top stove is definitely heated up now and they're looking much better just takes forever uh, i'm just getting ready to put these in the oven so i can do a couple more on uh, just thought i'd show how good these are looking uh, with the color and I need to move it thanks for watching perhaps cooking feel free to share give me a thumbs up or subscribe